morning, Tommy. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, your team. All right, thanks. Uh, you've now fished in South Africa for the last 11 days, I think it is. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Uh, the first week you was off the venue, about yeah. a kilometre further to our left, just off venue. Uh, what experience could, experiences could you gain? Like that, just kept going round <laughs> and, and, and you get a carp on. Yeah. And uh, so, no, just, it's, I mean, I don't think anybody's. A, I mean, I just love Africa and uh, I've been three times before and I just love the place. And this place is just quite staggering, really. Absolutely staggering. In fact, the, ang the anglers who've come with me, the, 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 I think they now realise how lucky they are, yeah. to be honest with you, because it is a fantastic place, fantastic venue. And, uh, and I just love the place. But I fell in love with South Africa the first time I came. What's, how many times have you been here now? It's third time, third and, time. and not my last. Yeah. And, uh, and I, just lo I just love the place. Yeah, and back off the uh, venue last week, mm -hmm. uh, what experiences could the team gain? What, what was the most important factors you needed to work out here? No, not really. Just, you, you just got to work out that the, they're not easy fish to catch, to be fair. And you just got to work a way out and be patient and, and just hope it works and we've got a we've got a plan and if it works at weekend then it, you know that'll be fantastic and if it doesn't then we'll be you know we'll try again next year but I think that I think we learned last week how the fish feed and uh, and I think it was a great exercise to come early and just off the match land so but we'll see we, we won't know that weekend yeah. so now this is the fourth training day Thursday um, teams have been telling me now that England have had uh, between 40 and 80 carp a day between years is that true uh, no oh. no don't, don't believe my side gossip no I know that because I, I don't <laughs> Trust, we've done all right don't get yeah. me I'm not grumbling yeah. uh, but I've got some fantastic carp anglers in my team and uh, and the, the you know the ringers and Grant and Adam and Mick um, they just we've got incredible angling brains they really have and it's been a pleasure to be with them really you mentioned the guys your guys are doing this day in day out in yeah. the UK playing carp uh, yeah obviously that's not the most important factor you've mentioned already you've got a plan yeah I oh, know it, it, it's the feeding. It's the, 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 although the carp they do feed different to England, and we um, we've just tried to work it out. You know, we, we've had we've had a bit of assistance off a good friend of mine over here, Adrian van der Heever, and we're very grateful to him. Yeah. Um, so we've put the his a lot of his thinking into the English way. And there's a combination, and it's uh, at the moment it's working. So, but it'll only be good if it if we win a gold. Just let your net this. Oh, missed him. <laughs> they do do that. They don't. They're wild. Don't I'll they? tell you something. They, they do not like the landing net. Yeah. The, well the, done there. Cheers, nice, mate. Another nice South African car. Yeah. A, an, another horrible day in South Africa. Another <laughs> terrible day. <laughs> <laughs> so there. And the, these fish have got a horrible dorsal fin. Yeah, they're getting caught in the nets. In the by nets everyone, and everything, yeah. yeah, they really are. Oh, yeah. There we go. But before the in with your friends. In the net. Before the competition, uh, back in Europe, yeah. all the talk was uh, mainly of England, South Africa, even world champions, Holland. Mm. Um, they still in. How do you see their position now? Well, I've, I've said since last year that uh, anybody that beats South Africa will win it, uh, and I, I believe that because they understand the baits, the flavours, and 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 the fishing and the place itself. So I think anybody that beats them will, will win it. Holland, although they, they haven't been catching all week, I'd never write them off because no. they're not world champions for nothing. Yeah. And although I think cat fishing is probably a little bit alien to them, but yeah. I'd never ever write them on. And the other team, two teams that seem to be catching a lot of fish here, Belarus and, uh, and Denmark. Denmark, yeah, they yeah, were on which, our right today. Yeah, and they've caught a few fish today. Under the guidance of a uh, German angler, Michael Schlugel. Absolutely, yeah. and, it, and he is, uh, he is a, a good fisherman, him. Yeah. He is a good fisherman, he's a crafty old cookie. And I would <laughs> never, ever write Hungary off while they've got Thomas Walter there. That's right. That's he a, is some coach, him. He a, is some guy, and I would never, ever write any team off that Walter Thomas is in charge of. So I think what I've seen and what I've heard, uh, but listen, I, I only worry about what we do, yeah. and um, 
and that's all I worry about. That's right. I can, I, I've got enough on trying to fish and be manager, and it's it's very difficult to do both. Yeah. But you know, I, I'd back my lads against anybody. Okay. I really would. But I see, yeah, everyone, there's big talk now, everyone's tipping England for this one. They're yeah, running away with it. Yeah, we'll see. We're hearing. <laughs> <Good. laughs> we'll see. Um, to the venue itself, yeah. is it fair? It, I think it is fair. I think th there's obviously the MPEGs are going to obviously make a difference. I think I don't think there's any doubt about that. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, we're an unbelievable, fantastic, beautiful place to spend two weeks of your life. It's just incredible. Yeah. I just, I just love the place, and the fish are wild. Um, it, it's just unbelievable. I mean, I just, well, all lads have just fell in love with the place. And when we came over, I booked a lodge, and because I wanted them to have a South African experience, yeah. because most will never come here again. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I will, I will come here again. Um, and I just wanted to have a South African experience, and they're really enjoying it. And we've had a great, we've caught some big catfish. Yeah. Uh, I've, had, I've had my biggest ever fish had a 32 pound cat. So You've had them on the other side of the dam, haven't on you? The in river, the river. In yeah, the river, yeah. Valley, yeah. Oh, okay. And we were on the banks of that, and we're having barbecues, and Lovely. you know, I mean. I mean, like I said, these lads don't realise, they'll only realise how lucky they are in, in years to come when yeah. people talk about it. Uh, the carp, obviously the carp are there, but are there enough, will on some pegs, the yellowfish play a role? Well, I also have a philosophy about uh, match fishing, is that in, in any team fishing, you f in, in the world chances five fishermen, and it's your fifth angler that wins you, will, wins you the gold medal. And they might come into play for that angler, I don't think they will for the for the top three or four places, but I think they will maybe for a few back in weights. And uh, we've been discussing it this morning, to be fair, with Glen whether we should just change tactics a little bit. Yeah. So we'll just wait and see. Okay, right, well, I'm not going to bother you much more longer because you're messing up your feeding pattern. No, I don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, okay, Tom, thanks very much no, for taking my the pleasure. time out. My pleasure. Uh, it's always lovely to talk to you.